The Egypt national football team Egyptian Arabic, Muntkhb Ma Sr Montakab Masr, known colloquially as the Pharaohs, represents Egypt in men's international association football and is governed by the Egyptian Football Association EFA, founded in 1921, the governing body for football in Egypt. The team's historical stadium is Cairo International Stadium but since 2012 the team has played most home games at Borg El Arab Stadium in Alexandria. Egypt is the most successful national team in Africa, having won the Africa Cup of Nations a record seven times, the inaugural edition in 1957 and on home soil in 1959, as well as the 1986 edition, Burkina Faso in 1998, 2006, Ghana in 2008 and Angola in 2010 edition. Egypt has also been as high as ninth in the FIFA World Rankings, making the team one of only three African national teams to enter the world's top ten. Despite their respectable continental record, Egypt has so far made only three appearances in the World Cup in 1934, 1990 and 2018, failing to win a game on all three occasions. The Egypt national team was the first team not from the Americas or Europe to qualify for the World Cup. Egypt qualified for the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and eventually finished runners-up after losing to Cameroon in the final. The tournament helped Egypt rise in the FIFA World Rankings. On 8 October 2017, Egypt qualified for the 2018 World Cup, their first appearance in 28 years and third appearance overall. History The first Egyptian national football team was constituted in 1920 to compete in the Summer Olympics in Belgium. The opening match of their campaign was a loss against the Italians. Egypt had appeared in three FIFA World Cups and they are the most successful team in the Africa Cup of Nations, winning the competition seven times, with the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations being the most recent one. Africa Cup of Nations Egypt first participated in the first Africa Cup of Nations tournament in 1957. In their first game, which was a semi-final, they faced Sudan, winning 2-1 with goals from Rafat Atia and Ad Deba, enabling Egypt to play in their first final. In the final, they faced Ethiopia, in which Egypt won 4-0, with these goals being scored by Ad Deba, thus making them champions for the first time in the Africa Cup of Nations. The top scorer of this tournament was Ad Deba from Egypt with five goals. In their second participation in the Africa Cup of Nations in 1959, Egypt became champions again. There were only three teams in that tournament, being Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt itself. Egypt again was undefeated in this tournament, like in the previous tournament in 1957, defeating both Ethiopia and Sudan. Their third appearance, which was in the 1962 African Cup of Nations, hosted in Ethiopia, in which Egypt faced Uganda in the semi finals, there were only four teams in this tournament, by a score of 2 1. Egypt then advanced to the finals, where they faced the hosts Ethiopia, but they lost 4-2 during extra time, thus losing their first final in the Africa Cup of Nations, along with Ethiopia becoming champions for the first time and also being the first nation to win it other than Egypt, who were champions twice. Their fourth appearance came in 1963 in Ghana. Egypt was placed in Group B with Sudan and Nigeria, winning Nigeria with a score of 6-3, but drawing 2-2 against Sudan. Despite being undefeated in the group stage, they were ranked second, behind Sudan by goal difference. Egypt, as runners-up in Group B, participated in the third-place match, playing against Ethiopia, winning Ethiopia 3-0. For the 1965 Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt did qualify for the tournament, but they withdrew because of their diplomatic relationship with Tunisia, who were hosts of the tournament. Again, Egypt withdrew from the 1968 Africa Cup of Nations, against hosted in Ethiopia, in the 1970 Africa Cup of Nations, hosted again in Sudan, Egypt were in Group B along with Ghana, Guinea, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, known as Congo Kinshasa back then. In their opening match, Egypt defeated Guinea by a score of 4-1, in which Ali Abo Grisha scored twice, Hassan El Shazli scored once, and Taha Basri also scored once during that game. Egypt's next game was against Ghana, which ended as a 1-1 draw, with Ibrahim Sunday scoring for Ghana and Bazooka scoring for Egypt. 
In their third game in this tournament, they faced Congo Kinshasa, in which Egypt won 1–0 by a goal from Abo Grisha. Egypt ended being in first place, thus advancing to the next round, where they faced Sudan. In the game against Sudan, Egypt lost their first game in the Africa Cup of Nations by a score of 2–1, with El Shazli scoring the equaliser that put Egypt to extra time, before being scored again by Sudan, thus eliminating them from playing the final. However, in the third place match, they won Ivory Coast by a score of 3 1, making Egypt become third place again in this tournament. For the 1972 Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt failed to qualify for the first time in this tournament after being eliminated by Morocco by an aggregate score of 5 3. However, Egypt returned for the 1974 African Cup of Nations, in which they were hosts for the first time. In the group stage, Egypt were in Group A with Zambia, Uganda, and the Ivory Coast. Egypt was successful, defeating Uganda 2-1, Zambia with a score of 3-1, and the Ivory Coast by a score of 2-0. They progressed to the semi-finals to play against Zaire. Egypt lost 2-3 against Zaire, so Egypt had to face Congo for third place. Egypt won Congo by a score of 4-0. In the 1976 African Cup of Nations, in Ethiopia, they were in Group A with the hosts Ethiopia, Guinea, and Uganda. Egypt defeated Uganda 2-1, but drew against Uganda 1-1 and Ethiopia, also 1-1. Despite this, Egypt advanced to the final round. In the final round, Egypt lost all their games. Egypt lost to Morocco 2-1, 4-2 against Guinea, and 3-2 against Nigeria. However, they scored in these three matches. This is the first Africa Cup of Nations tournament that Egypt lost three consecutive games. Egypt again failed to qualify for the 1978 African Cup of Nations in Ghana. Egypt reappeared for the 1980 African Cup of Nations in Nigeria. Egypt, Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, and Tanzania, were in Group A. They won in their first game against the Ivory Coast 2-1, defeated Tanzania 2-1-2, but lost to the host Nigeria by a score of 1-0, scored by Oki Asima. Egypt progressed to the next round which was the semi-finals, to face Algeria. Egypt lost this game 4-2 in penalties, after drawing 2-2 after extra time. For the third place match, Egypt lost to Morocco, making Egypt being in the fourth place rank. Egypt withdrew during qualifying for the 1982 Africa Cup of Nations in Libya. For the 1984 Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt returned. Egypt, Cameroon, the Ivory Coast, and Togo, were drawn in Group A. Egypt won against Cameroon 1-0, the Ivory Coast 1-2, but drew with Togo 0-0. Egypt advanced to the next round, the semi-finals, to face Nigeria. Egypt lost to Nigeria in penalties, with the score in penalties being 7-8, after drawing 2-2. For the third place match, Egypt lost 3-1 to Algeria, even though Egypt were in fourth place in the previous tournament, it changed. In the 1986 Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt became the host again. In their opening game, Egypt lost to Senegal 1-0. However, Egypt went on to win their two remaining games in the group stage, with scores of 2-0 against the Ivory Coast, and 2-0 against Mozambique. Egypt were in first place in Group A, and in the semi-finals, Egypt won against Morocco 1-0, advancing to the final since the 1962 edition, to play against Cameroon, who had Roger Mila. Egypt won the game 5-4 in penalties, after drawing 0-0, thus becoming champions for the third time since the tournament from 1959. In the 1988 Africa Cup of Nations in Morocco, Egypt were not as successful than in the 1986 edition. Egypt entered this championship as the current title holders. They were in Group B with Cameroon, Nigeria, and Kenya. In their game against Cameroon, they lost 1-0 by a goal from Roger Mila. However, they did not lose against Nigeria and Kenya, as Egypt drew 1-1 against Nigeria in Stade Moulay Abdella in Rabat, and defeated Kenya 3-0, also in Stade Moulay Abdella, with two goals from Gamal Abdelhamid and one goal from Ayman Yunus. Despite, they were a point below from entering the next round, which was the semi-finals, in the 1990 Africa Cup of Nations in Algeria, it got worse. Egypt did qualify for this tournament, and they were put in Group A, along with Algeria, Nigeria, and the Ivory Coast. Egypt lost all their group stage games, thus making Egypt fail to obtain at least one point for the first time in the Africa Cup of Nations. 
The scores the 3–1 defeat to the Ivory Coast, the 1–0 defeat to Nigeria, and the 2–0 defeat to Algeria, in the 1992 Africa Cup of Nations, hosted in Senegal, Egypt entered by qualifying to this tournament. Egypt were placed in Group D with Ghana and Zambia. In their game against Zambia, Egypt lost 1–0. In their game against Nigeria, they lost again by a score of 1–0–2. Egypt again failed to obtain at least a point for the second time, being consecutive, along with losing all their games in the group stage. In the 1994 Africa Cup of Nations, in Tunisia, Egypt were in Group B with Nigeria and Gabon. In their first game, against Gabon, Egypt won 4–0 with goals from Ayman Mansur, Hamza El Gamal, in which they scored once in that game, and Bashir Abdel Samad, who scored two. In their second game, they drew against Nigeria 0–0. Egypt were able to qualify to the next round, which were the quarter-finals, being first place in Group B by goal difference, to face Mali. In this game, Egypt lost 0-1 to Mali in State El Menza in Tunis, thus knocking out Egypt from the tournament. In the 1996 edition, hosted in South Africa, Egypt participated in this tournament. Egypt were placed in Group A with the hosts South Africa, Cameroon, and Angola. In their first game, Egypt faced Angola, successful winning 2-1 with both goals scored from Ahmed El Kass. In their second game, however, Egypt lost 2-1 against Cameroon. In their third game, against South Africa, Egypt defeated South Africa 0-1, with the goal from El Kass. Egypt qualified to the quarter-finals, as runners-up of the group, being behind the hosts. In the quarter-finals, Egypt were to face Zambia. In this game, Egypt lost 3-1. This eliminated Egypt, with South Africa winning their first title, and as hosts, in the 1998 Africa Cup of Nations, in Burkina Faso, Egypt qualified for this tournament. Egypt were placed in Group D, with Mozambique, Zambia, and Morocco. In their first game, Egypt won Mozambique 2-0, with the two goals from Hassam Hassan. In the game against Zambia, Egypt again won 4-0, with the goals being a hat-trick from Hassan and one from Radwin. In their third game however, Egypt lost against Morocco, 1-0, with the goal scored in the 90th minute from Mustafa Haji. Despite this defeat, Egypt qualified to the quarter-finals, as runners-up of Group D, and they were to face against the Ivory Coast. In this game, Egypt won 5-4 in penalties, after a 0-0 draw. This made Egypt advance to the semi-finals since the 1986 tournament. In their semi-final, Egypt faced the hosts Burkina Faso, in which Egypt defeated Burkina Faso by a score of 2-0, with the goals scored from Hassan. This made Egypt go to the final since the 1986 tournament, the same tournament that was their last tournament as champions, to play against South Africa. In the final, Egypt were successful, winning 2-0, with a goal from Ahmed Hassan and a goal from Tarek Mustafa. Egypt won their fourth title since they won as hosts in the 1986 tournament. For the 2000 Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt entered as the defending champions. This tournament was in Ghana and Nigeria. They were in Group C with Senegal, Zambia, and Burkina Faso. In these three games, Egypt won the three of them. Their match against Zambia was a 2 0 victory, a 1 0 victory over Senegal, and a 4 2 win against Burkina Faso. With these three victories, Egypt were the group leaders and they advanced to the quarter-finals. In the quarter-finals, they lost to Tunisia 0-1, the goal was scored by a penalty kick. Egypt were eliminated from the tournament, in which Cameroon won their third title, in the 2002 African Cup of Nations, in Mali, Egypt qualified for this tournament. Egypt were placed in Group D with Senegal, Tunisia, and Zambia. In their opening match, Egypt lost 0-1 to Senegal. However, Egypt won their two remaining group stage games, with the scores of 1-0 against Tunisia and 2-1 against Zambia. Egypt advanced to the quarter-finals, as runners-up, with six points, to face Cameroon. In this game, being Cameroon versus Egypt, in the quarter-finals, Egypt lost 1-0. This score eliminated Egypt. In this tournament, Cameroon won their fourth title, being the second title won consecutively. Egypt qualified to the 2004 Africa Cup of Nations, which was hosted in Tunisia. Egypt were placed in Group C with Algeria, Zimbabwe, and Cameroon. Egypt won 1-2 against Zimbabwe, lost 2-1 to Algeria, and drew 0-0 against Cameroon. 
Egypt failed to qualify for the quarter finals due to that Algeria scored a goal more than Egypt, after leveling on points and goal difference. Tunisia, the hosts won their first title, beating Morocco in the final. The 2006 Africa Cup of Nations was hosted in Egypt, making Egypt automatically qualified. They were in Group A with Libya, Morocco, and the Ivory Coast. In the opening match, Egypt defeated Libya 3-0. In the second game, Egypt drew 0-0 against Morocco. However, in the third game, Egypt won 3-1 against the Ivory Coast, thus making Egypt as the group leader and advancing to the next round, the quarter-finals. In the quarter-finals phase, Egypt faced DR Congo, in which Egypt won 4-1, thus making Egypt advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Egypt faced Senegal. In this game, Egypt won Senegal 2-1, thus making Egypt qualify for the final to face the Ivory Coast, after playing against each other in the group stage. In the final match, Egypt drew 0-0 with the Ivory Coast, sending them to extra time, and still, the score remained 0-0. After extra time, the game was taken to the penalty shootout phase. In the penalty shootout phase, Egypt were victorious, winning 4-2 against the Ivory Coast, and claiming their fifth title, being the third title won as hosts. The last time Egypt won the tournament before this was in 1998, in the 2008 African Nations Cup in Ghana, Egypt qualified for this tournament. In this tournament, Egypt were placed in Group C with Cameroon, Zambia, and Sudan. Egypt beat Cameroon 4-2, won against Libya by a score of 3-0, but drew 1-1 against Zambia. Egypt entered the quarter-finals as the group leader. In the quarter-final, Egypt faced and beat Angola 2-1. Then, Egypt advanced to the semi-finals to face the Ivory Coast. The last time they faced each other was in the 2006 final, in which Egypt won the game, claiming their fifth title. In the semi-finals, Egypt were victorious, beating Ivory Coast 1-4. Egypt advanced to the finals to face the Cameroonians. In this game, Egypt won 0-1 thanks to a goal from Mohamed Aboutrika, helping Egypt win their sixth title. This also marked Egypt winning two consecutive Africa Cup of Nations. In the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, in Angola, Egypt qualified for the tournament. Egypt were in Group C with Nigeria, Benin, and Mozambique. Egypt won their three group stage games, thus advancing to the quarter-finals, to face Cameroon. In this match, Egypt won 3-1 after extra time, thus eliminating the Cameroonian team. In the semi-finals, they faced Algeria, in which Egypt won 4-0, making Egypt go to the final for the third consecutive time. In the final, Egypt faced Ghana. In this game, Egypt won 1-0 against Ghana, with the goal scorer being Ghetto. This led Egypt to their seventh title, win their third consecutive cup, become the first nation to win three consecutive Africa Cup of Nations titles, becoming the most successful team in this tournament. However, for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations in Gabon and Equatorial Guinea, even though Egypt were the defending champions, they failed to qualify. After the Port Said Stadium riot which caused the deaths of 74 people, the Egyptian government shut down the domestic league for two years, which affected the Egyptian national team, resulting in their failure to qualify for the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations. For the third consecutive time, Egypt failed to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations, this time in Equatorial Guinea in 2015. For the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations, which was hosted in Gabon, Egypt had to qualify to enter. Egypt were seeded into Group G with Nigeria, Tanzania, and Chad. In their first game, against Tanzania, Egypt won 3-0. This made Egypt joint group leader by goal difference with Nigeria, with both nations having won their first game. On 4 June 2016, in their qualifying away match against Tanzania, Egypt won 2-0 and managed to secure their berth in the 2017 edition of the championship. This marked Egypt's return to the competition after seven years having missed out on the previous three editions. In Gabon, Egypt registered a 0-0 draw against Mali in their first match in Group D. Successive 1-0 wins against Uganda and Ghana saw the Faroes qualify to the quarter-finals as group winners. Egypt faced Morocco at the quarter-final stage, and defeated their North Africa rivals for the first time in 31 years to set up a semi-final clash with Burkina Faso. Mohamed Salah's goal against the Stallions was cancelled out by an Aristide Bansay strike, however, veteran goalkeeper Assam El Hattari saved two spot kicks in the penalty shootout to earn a spot in the final for his team. 
Egypt then faced for the third time at this stage Cameroon, hoping for history to repeat itself for an eighth title. Egypt opened the score before the break thanks to Arsenal's midfielder Elneny. However, Cameroon stepped up its game in the second half and Nicolas Nkulu scored the equaliser before Vincent Aboubakar scored the second goal in the last minutes. For the second time in its history Egypt lost an AFCON final, and for the first time lost a final to their rival Cameroon. <laughs> FIFA World Cup Egypt has qualified for the FIFA World Cup three times, in 1934, in 1990 and for the 2018 editions. Egypt was the first African country to qualify for the World Cup. The time it took Egypt to qualify for two successive tournaments 56 years between 1934 and 1990 is a World Cup record that is shared only with Norway 1938-1994. After beating mandatory Palestine, Egypt qualified for their first World Cup. It lost to Hungary 4-2 in their first and only match in 1934. In 1990, Egypt was drawn in Group F with Ireland, England and the Netherlands. Since the Egyptians favoured defensive tactics, they scored only one goal in the 1990 World Cup, scored by Magdi Abdelghani through a penalty. This made Abdelghani the first African to score a penalty kick in the World Cup. A 1-1 draw with the Netherlands gave the Egyptians their first point in the World Cup. They then drew again, this time goalless, with Ireland. While the Egyptians needed just a draw to progress to the next round, they lost 1-0 to England. As of June 2018, Egypt had yet to win a game. On 8 October 2017, Egypt qualified for the 2018 World Cup after a 2-1 win over Congo. The two goals were scored by Mohamed Salah with the second one in a dramatic last-minute penalty. Salah has scored the most goals tied with Prejus Nikoalma in the third round of the CAF 2018 World Cup qualification campaign with five goals. In the 2018 World Cup, Egypt was drawn with Saudi Arabia, Uruguay and the hosts, Russia. They started their first game against Uruguay, without their talisman Salah, who was injured in the UEFA Champions League final with Liverpool against Real Madrid. Egypt's team built a strong defence with only a few counter-attacks. The first half was a boring goalless draw. In the second half, things were looking good for Uruguay, who had more goal-scoring chances, however, El Shanawi made several key saves including a strong kick from Cavani. Near the end, Uruguay had gotten a free kick near the goal but Cavani's shot hit the post. In the 89th minute, right when it seemed the two sides would draw, Jimenez scored a header from a free kick, ruining Egypt's dreams. Due to strong saves by Egypt's goalkeeper, he was voted man of the match but he refused the reward due to the sponsorship by Budweiser. Against the hosts, Egypt was more optimistic due to Salah being called up as a starter. The first half was quiet strong for Egypt who had higher position of the ball and made several goal-scoring opportunities, but the first half was goalless. In the second half, Russia scored when El Shanawi's punch went to Roman Zobnin, who kicked very weakly but Ahmed Fathi, who got the ball, panicked despite there being no Russians nearby, and scored an own goal right in the corner. This led to Egypt's morale going down, with two more goals coming. Mario Fernandez drove into the box before supplying a cut back from the right for Denis Cheryshev to slot home Russia's second with his left foot. Artem Dzuba made it 3-0 as he took a lofted ball into the box down on his chest, taking a touch to go past Ali Gabr and finish between El Shanawi's legs with a low shot. Salah won a penalty after he was fouled by Zobnin, although it was only given after a consultation with the video assistant referee as the referee had initially said the offence took place outside the box. Salah scored from the spot to become only the third Egyptian player to score at a World Cup. This was Egypt's first goal in 28 years. Egypt could have been awarded a second penalty but it went unseen by the referee. Egypt's third and final match in its 2018 campaign was the Red Sea Derby against Saudi Arabia. El Hadari was the starting goalkeeper in expense of El Shanawi, and thus became the oldest player in the World Cup with 45 years and 161 days. In the 22nd minute, Abdallah Saeed's pass to Salah saw a lob that would score a goal. This was the first non-penalty goal since 1934 and the first time that Egypt had led in a World Cup match, excluding Fazi's hat-trick which made the match against Hungary go 3-2 but was ruled offside by the referee. 
Five minutes before the interval Ahmed Fati was adjudged to have deliberately handled Yasser al-Shirani's cross inside the area. El Hadatu produced a save to deny Fahad al Mulad's kick, but his celebrations were cut short when a second penalty was awarded for Ali Gaber's tug on al Mulad's shirt. Salman al Faraj stepped up this time to fire past the goalkeeper and draw his side level. Egypt substitute Karaba fired straight at al Mozalam late on. Salem al Dazari finished a right footed volley past el Hadari in the closing stages. The second penalty shot was the latest goal scored in the first half in a World Cup match since 1966 at 50 minutes and 36 seconds. The second goal, while not a record, was scored at the 95th minute despite there being four minutes of extra time to which the referee ended the match right after. Hector Cooper who was criticized due to his defensive strategies, was sacked. The Egyptian Football Association was also criticized due to having its base in Chechnya, a Muslim Russian state that has no football history and is far from where Egypt's matches were played. It is believed the EFA did this due to politics. While the match with Uruguay had few spectators, the match against Russia had tons of Egyptians, to the point the Egyptians outnumbered the Russians despite the match being hosted by Russia. This was marred with controversies since a lot of Egyptian celebrities had attended for free, possibly as a deal with an Egyptian telephone company. The low attendance in the Egypt Uruguay match was due to ghost victors, people who bought tickets but didn't attend. It is one of the least attended World Cup matches in the modern age. The Egyptian media and public heavily criticized EFA's management of the team. The players also refused to hold post-match interviews, with many of them facing fines or bans by FIFA. Players <inaudible> 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 Current squad The following 24 players were called up for the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations qualification matches against Tunisia on 16 November 2018, caps and goals as of 16 November 2018 consequent to the match against Tunisia. Recent call-ups The following players have been called up for the team in the last 12 months. Topic: Coaching staff. Topic: Current staff. Topic: Former managers. Source, Egyptian national team coaches. Topic: <laughs> Kits and crests The Egypt national football team's tradition color is red. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kit suppliers Topic. Recent results and forthcoming fixtures Matches played in last 12 months, as well as any future scheduled matches. Topic. 2018 Topic. 2019 Topic Records As of the sixteenth of November twenty eighteen. Players in bold are still active at international level. In February 2017, Egypt set a new record, not being defeated for 24 consecutive African Cup of Nations matches, since their last match at the 2004 African Cup of Nations. Egypt also won their ninth consecutive match in the ACN, beating Ghana in the 2010 African Cup of Nations final match, and becoming the first team to win three consecutive ACN titles. Subsequent to leading Egypt to its third consecutive ACN victory under his tenure, Egypt coach Hassan Shihada was offered the role of coaching the Nigeria national football team in the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. 
In February 2010, the EFA agreed to let Shihata take charge of Nigeria in 2010 World Cup only if official request was sent. Ultimately, Shihata did not take the position. Topic: <laughs> Competitive records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> FIFA World Cup. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Africa Cup of Nations. Topic: <laughs> FIFA Confederations Cup. Egypt have appeared in two of the nine FIFA Confederations Cups contested, the team was eliminated on both times during the group stage. Egypt's first Confederations Cup appearance was in 1999 as a result of winning the Africa Cup of Nations in 1998. The second appearance was in 2009 as the Africa Cup of Nations winners in 2008. During the second appearance, the team achieved their first win over Italy 1-0 in the second round of the group stage. Arab Cup of Nations Pan-Arab Games Olympic Games record Football at the Summer Olympics has been an under-23 tournament since 1992. Palestine Cup of Nations Palestine Cup of Nations African Games Football at the African Games has been an under-23 tournament since 1991. Honours Topic: African competitions. Africa Cup of Nations winners: 1957, 1959, 1986, 1998, 2006, 2008, 2010. Most successful team. Runners up: 1962, 2017. Third place: 1963, 1970, 1974. 4th place, 1976, 1980, 1984 All-Africa Games Champions, 1987, 1995 3rd place, 1973 Afro-Asian Cup of Nations Runners-Up, 1988, 2007 Topic. Arabic competitions Pan Arabic Games Champions, 1953, 1965, 1992 asterisk, 2007 Most successful team Runners up, 1961 Arab Cup of Nations Champions, 1992 asterisk Third place, 1988 Palestine Cup of Nations Champions, 1972, 1975 Most successful team Note, asterisk The 1992 edition organized as part of the Pan-Arab Games, and also counted as Arab Nations Cup. Other competitions Mediterranean Games Champions, 1955 Silver medalist, 1951 Bronze medalist, 1983 See also Egyptian Football Association Egyptian Premier League Egypt Cup Egyptian Super Cup Egypt National Under-23 Football Team Egypt national under-20 football team Egypt national under-17 football team List of football clubs in Egypt List of Egyptian football players in foreign leagues Notes <laughs>